G'day Legends, I hope you're all awesome. On today's video, we have the new PRS Mary Cries Optical Compressor. The optical compressor circuit in here is apparently based on the legendary and iconic LA-2A compressor, a studio classic. Before we dive deep with this, let's just play a little blues with it. I'm gonna be using my PRS SC245, which has the stock SC245 pickup. It's from around 2008. People always ask about the pickups in that guitar, so I figured I would say that. Let's have a listen to how we can use this particular pedal between guitar and amp as a kind of tonal enhancer or a boost. Let's go. Anytime I do a video on compression or compressor pedals, I get a lot of comments where people are either saying they can't really hear the effect or they're overall a little bit daunted by the prospect of a compressor because they're not really too sure how the knobs work. And as soon as you have things like attack, release, ratio, input level, output level, there's a lot of parameters to deal with there, especially if you haven't quite wrapped your head around the concept. So something like this is kind of nice you're unfamiliar with compressors because there's just a knob labeled compression with an LED or a little optical indicator over here and then you've got an overall level control. So I'll start on my PRS Custom 24. This has the five-way rotary. Duncan Jazz in the neck, JB in the bridge. I really like that I can go from say the neck humbucker in series to a combination of the inner or outer coils in parallel and get tones that really contrast one another. Let's hear the starting point. <laughs> Now, overall, the guitar is pretty balanced, but we've got widely different kind of focal points in the tone. The neck humbucker has a real low to low mid focus, and then the parallel modes are really bright and open sounding. So we'll start with the compression all the way down, and we'll just use the output control. It's roughly at unity gain at the moment, but even with it here doing very little, it just kind of works like a general tone enhancer, one of those kind of always on boxes you may enjoy. Let's hear it.
that's not using any compression, but the pedal has an inherent character about it that is quite pleasant on electric guitar. You can hear it's kind of taking out some of the harshness from that parallel pickup combination. And as I crank up that output level, it's basically working as a boost. So with the compression on zero, just using the kind of little output amplifier there, it's pretty tasty overall tone enhancer and always on kind of pedal or a really lovely boost. Let's bring some compression in on there. I'll start again on that parallel mode. We'll hear it bypassed. And then on, I'll just bring the compression up. I'm going to leave the output level there, just giving me a tiny little boost because it's nice to have it on. takeaways from that right there. Overall, this is pretty subtle compared to something like, say, an 1176 style circuit, which you can really push into your amp is about to explode kind of territory, or something like a Dynacomp, which gets really, really squishy and sticky. You could hear there on the funk stuff. You still kind of have your core guitar tone in there. It's not massively changing all the transients on there. It's leaving a lot of what you like about your sound in there already. It's just kind of pushing it a little bit, sweetening it up. In general, that's why I tend to like optical compression on guitars so much. It's just a very musical effect. It's not super pronounced either way. The other thing you could hear there, when we crank everything up, it kind of gives you that uh, like amp about to explode sag on there, even though you've still got pretty clean sound on there. If you've got like an edge breakup tone and you're using this to push it, it's a good way to simulate that cranked up tube amp power section without having to crank the amp up. And 
A big thing with compressors as well, I know a lot of people are going to say like, I don't really hear the difference too much. It massively changes the feel under your fingertips. And while it gives you more sustain, you know, hearing the way your guitar responds, the way your kind of pick attack and different transients come out of the speakers changes the way you play. So, you know, compressors are dynamic and they are dynamic in the way uh, I feel I kind of respond when I'm playing them. All right, this wouldn't be one of my videos without throwing this in front of a super dirty tone to use it as a boost. Let's try that. Time to give some mirror some love. This one is in drop C. It has 11 to 54s on it. And as I understand it, the mirror pickups, this is a 2008 core mirror, has basically the same pickup as the 245 pickups that are in my SC245. They're just uncovered. Now, what I do notice with this guitar compared to my SC245 is it's maybe not quite as angry sounding. There's not quite as much output on it. So I'm going to compensate for that by just getting the compressor to where it's providing a little bit of compression, but mostly using it as an output boost. So uh, let's start with the compression quite low. And again, we'll use that little optical indicator on there. This is the starting point. <laughs> as a boost into a dirty amp. We heard it as a typical guitar compressor. I think my favorite application of it though is in an effects loop to kind of tame any like chirpy high end or something like that, especially if you're going for like a chimey or edge of breakup style sound. Let's have a listen to that. You can see the controls at the moment. This is bypass and then I'll kick it in. <laughs> again you're kind of leaning into that tubey sag style theme trying to emulate the things that we like about really really loud amps without necessarily having to have a really really loud amp that is all for today thanks so much for checking out the video let me know your thoughts on the merry cries compressor in the video description big thank you to matt and the legends at electric factory here in australia for letting me borrow this pedal and make some noise with it if you want to learn more about styles of guitar compression i have a video up on my channel which i'll link in the video description and if you like what i'm doing on the channel links in the video description to support what i'm doing have a great day and i'll see you next time cheers